Da, 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 da. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brian J. Markham, and I am an associate professor of dance at Oklahoma City University. I'm Tanner Fluger. I'm a dance performance junior here at Oklahoma City University. So after I graduated from OCU, I was fortunate enough to work quite a bit. Memphis, Tennessee, called Liberty Land, that's no longer there. Fiesta, Texas, in San Antonio, at Music Theater of Wichita, Disney World in Florida, Tokyo Disneyland, I was there for nine months, a South American tour of a musical called The Who's Tommy, in Branson, Missouri, the Radio City Christmas show with the Rockettes. Then I landed my first Broadway show, which was called The Gershwin's Fascinating Rhythm, Saturday Night Fever, Annie Get Your Gun, the Broadway company of 42nd Street, The Drowsy Chaperone, The Boy From Oz, starring Hugh Jackman, Spamalot, Elf the Musical. I auditioned for Billy Elliot the Musical and landed the role, was asked to go to London and perform in the West End. Uh, I did that for about a year and three months. And during that time that I was over there, I actually had the opportunity to go over and perform on the Broadway show for about a month of that. And I actually had my first uh, opening on Broadway on my 14th birthday, which was quite the birthday present, I would say. Men in this industry are very important because everything is about a relationship. For instance, in the ballet world, uh, men, uh, while they do get to dance quite a bit, they are usually there to lift a lady in a pas de deux. I mean, they, that's, they spend most of their time behind someone lifting them. Uh, in musical theater and what we do, you get the chance to actually be yourself, be a person, be a character. Many people, I think, are under the impression who don't know dance as well that it's a feminine art form and that guys shouldn't do it. But I feel guys bring this sense of power and strength uh, to the art form that is very needed. It's very different from what a woman can bring to the art form. I would say that both work together to create something so beautiful, especially when men and women partner in a dance. It's just so pleasing to the eye and we need to break away from this stereotype that it is for women because there are so many guy dancers out there in the world today and people who have come before us such as like Gene Kelly and uh, Fred Astaire, they were all wonderful dancers who brought this sense of uh, class and elegance to the art form. So I feel like it's very important that men choose to dance because it's not just for girls or women. In New York, this is the way it goes. Women, there's a million of you, well, women singers. When you go to a New York called the Women Singers, there's a thousand of you. Men, you have it the next, the men singers. Women dancers, there's a lot of you. The men dancers, there's a lot of you, but there's not as many male dancers auditioning for parts as there are the women and the men singers and the female singers, right? So uh, the, while there's a lot of competition for jobs, you know, if you're good at what you do and you have a great work ethic and people like to work with you, then you're going to work all the time, yeah? Uh, in different venues, you have to take, you, you kind of have to be ready to kind of take any job that is offered to you. My experience, on Broadway, I was at such a young age, I didn't really know the ins and outs of the industry. And I feel like coming to college, I have definitely gained more knowledge and experience and just learned exactly what it was I was getting into. I've gotten performance experience through training in classes and we've been given many opportunities to perform outside of the university, not only in our Christmas show and spring show, but also in some uh, events outside, such as like Christmas parties or galas uh, put on by the university. It's been um, quite fun. And I've also gained some management uh, opportunities. So I feel that I have a better understanding of what exactly this industry is about, whereas before I, was kind of naive and it was just like a big spectacle and like wow I'm just in like Wonderland and now I actually understand that it is a business and um, I feel like I'm very fully equipped with uh, everything I need to know going into it. Musical theater is always changing. There used to be just, you know, razzmatazz tap dancing. Or, and now it's like, everything has a story now. No one dances for just dancing. And so it's very important that you have a story and that your story is different from that story and his story is different from her story. And so you have to make sure that you bring all of that 
to the table because that's what makes you unique, what makes you get hired over someone else. And to become part of the best community in the world. I mean, to be able to go to New York and work with these actors, it was like a dream for me. Those people are, it's, a, it's an amazing community to be a part of. So a career in this industry has allowed me to be able to travel, be able to work with really great people. It has allowed me to have a wonderful wife, a great family with my two kids, Sophie and Felix. And we've been able to create a life for ourselves that seems somewhat normal, but, uh, but still creative and allows me to be in the entertainment industry and do what I love to do. And uh, it is kind of our lives. Our lives are a musical. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>